Hello and welcome back into Earth Nerd. I am Bryce and today I will be reviewing the Arrow series finale that aired just yesterday. So yeah guys, this is some pretty exciting stuff we're going to be talking about. So let's get right into it. So yeah guys, the Arrow series finale happened yesterday and there were quite a bit of reveals. So if you don't want to be spoiled, then definitely watch the episode, then come back to the video and listen to my thoughts on the episode. I definitely have quite a few of those to discuss for you guys here today. So yeah, let's get right into it. So we start off the episode with the reveal that uh, Oliver's mother is now alive in this new Earth. And this is kind of a trend throughout the episode to where we learn that a lot of the dead characters are actually revealed to be alive. We have Quentin Lance is alive, uh, Tommy Merlin is alive, Emiko Queen is alive. So basically, if anyone ever died, they're probably back to life except for Earth 1 Laurel Lance, which... We kind of get an explanation for, we kind of don't, and and honestly, that kind of causes a problem with the episode for me, because Earth 2 Laurel Lance goes to Quentin Lance's uh, former office, and she's all upset because Oliver was able to fix almost everything except uh, he didn't bring back Earth 1 Laurel Lance. Earth 2 Laurel Lance is still there, however. And Quentin Lance quite obviously recognizes that uh, that she is Earth 2 Laurel Lance. And she and he understands how she's there, why she's there. And uh, says nothing needed to be fixed, nothing needed to be changed. Kind of like comforting her, telling her that everything is fine the way it is with her being there. But then Tommy Merlin does not recognize Earth 2 Laurel Lance whenever he is explaining to her that Earth 1 Laurel Lance was his wife and then eventually, of course, died. But so it begs the question, how is Quentin Lance able to recognize Earth 2 Laurel Lance, but Tommy Merlin isn't able to recognize her? Keep in mind that this episode takes place a month after the events of Crisis have already happened. So that's kind of a little bit of a plot hole that I feel kind of needs to be explained. And there's also everything that happened in Green Arrow and the Canaries as well. Like some of that is up in, up in the air uh, for question now with how does that connect with everything. So uh, a lot of the timey-wimey stuff is, is pretty, pretty confusing with this. But overall, this episode definitely closed up this, this chapter in the Arrowverse very, very well. Um, all, all of the uh, stuff with Felicity and Diggle was great. Have, well, first of all, having Felicity back at all was, was awesome. Having Tommy come back was great. Basically, if anyone was ever a main character and was a hero, they were in this episode. We even had uh, Rory Regan, I believe his name is, uh, Ragman, came back for the series finale, which was really cool to see because we haven't seen him since, like, season five. And so, yeah, it, it was... I, I feel like they they went boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom to try to close up all of these uh, story arcs with these characters. Like... One scene, you learn that William has been kidnapped, and then the next scene, everybody is there. So it was just kind of like, okay, wow, we're getting right into this. <laughs> okay, that I mean, and that's kind of something that they had to do, but it was it felt a little choppy uh, for me. And then, and then the proposal w with uh, Roy and Thea again, it was another one of those deals to where this is the series finale. They're trying to wrap everything up right now, and. It's kind of rough because this whole season was building up to crisis, but I don't know if this season was doing that great of a job building up to the finale because you have all of these plot points that the finale has to basically wrap up all in one episode, and it felt not necessarily rush, but it was just a lot to take in for one episode, and I feel like if they had extended the season longer, if they had taken more time to address some of these plot points explored in the series finale, I feel like the finale would have been a lot stronger. But I will say this, Oliver's funeral scene, I'm not going to lie, had me tearing up a little bit. I mean, man, what, what an emotional, moving scene. I mean, 
first of all, I mean, you have just everybody mourning the death of Oliver, and he's he's been our hero for eight years, you know? I mean, it's, it's emotional for the fans, too. And then whenever, for some reason, what really got me was whenever Barry and Kara showed up. Like, I don't know, I don't know what it was about the two of them showing up, but it just got me. Like, I, like, like, I started, my eyes started watering after that, and then Diggle's speech was just absolutely beautiful. Like what? What a way just to say say uh, sayonara to our our hero that's been been here for so long, and during that little during the little montage uh, that was happening while uh, Diggle was speaking of Oliver, he does finally get the ring. So I am really looking forward to them hopefully exploring that in the Green Lantern series coming to HBO Max, and if not that, then some other form. They've definitely definitely got to follow through with this because i mean if they're gonna give him the ring you've got to make him a green lantern like full time like go just go all out with it they've got to do it they they've committed so now they've just gotta they've just gotta actually do it now but that was awesome and also i gotta mention the final scene where 2040 felicity is brought to the afterlife by the monitor to be with oliver for the rest of eternity that was also just so beautiful and that final shot zooming out of queen consolidated was just so fitting and and such a great end to the series so i really couldn't have complained about that and it was just beautiful i loved it so much it's it's definitely uh quite the fitting ending to to this series that's been going on for eight years so, yeah, guys, what did you guys think about the series finale? Oh, other than those couple uh, critiques that I gave uh, at the beginning of the video, I really did enjoy the Arrow ser series finale and thought it was a pretty fitting end to the show overall. What did you guys think? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you liked. Leave a dislike if you didn't. And please subscribe and turn on those post notifications to stay up to date with all the new videos coming to the channel in the future. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Take care.